So this is a follow-up video on a video game bundle that I purchased at a garage sale a couple months ago now and I ended up spending $200 on two video game lots. One was a PlayStation 2 lot, one was a PlayStation 3 lot and I just wanted to update you all with what has sold so far, how I've listed things and how much profit I have made and also give you all some information on pre-owned video games PlayStation 2 PlayStation 3 that can sell pretty quickly for you if you find them out of the yard sale or whatnot a dollar two dollars three dollars may be worth your time in getting also how I listed these items and maybe you can compare that to how you list items or leave me any tips below with video games on if you think I should try something else or something might work better or where I can maximize more profit. I would love to know because I'm no video game expert. I just walked into this deal and couldn't pass it up. So let's go ahead and get on with the details. Okay, so to be clear, I have listed almost everything with the exception of the PlayStation 2 bundle. In the PlayStation 2 bundle, I have 20 games. There were two controllers. I was testing these games still because I did test all the games for the PlayStation 3 bundles and everything I listed individually. But for these, I'm still testing them. And then I don't know what happened. I lost the the actual PlayStation controller. So the other one I have is just a knockoff brand. So I haven't listed the bundle yet because I don't know what I did with that controller. So I may end up having to list it just without that, but I think that might make a little bit of a difference. So I still have 20 games and the PlayStation 2, the controller, the connections, all of that, uh, plus one game that I just recently listed because I was holding on to it thinking that a friend may want it, but I haven't heard anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and list this game. Besides that, everything else I have listed and everything else has sold. The other bundle that I did was the PlayStation 3 bundle. In that one, I had 12 games, a controller, all of the connections with the exception of an HDMI cord. I don't know if maybe I misplaced that or if it just didn't come with an HDMI cord and I didn't realize it. So I thought about just putting an extra one in there. But then I just decided I'm going to sell it as is without an HDMI cable because most people have one. So I didn't think that would make much of a difference. So I'm going to discuss that first. Any games that were going to be valued under $15, I decided to go ahead and list in the bundle versus listing them individually because I did plan on doing free shipping for all the video games and I didn't want to do free shipping on something less than $15. So that bundle ended up selling for $135 plus $25 shipping. Now I had it up for auction twice, two times, the buyers didn't pay. One reached out and said that they did want to pay but a week from now when they got paid and I have my listing set up for after four days it cancels, so I, I couldn't stop that. I called eBay and they said, unfortunately, because they can't edit a listing after it's sold, there was nothing that they can do. So I ended up relisting it for uh, the same price, and then that buyer ended up going in and buying it, the same buyer that won the second time. So anyway, it just took longer to sell than I thought because that, that's the one downfall I think with auctions on eBay is that a lot of the time buyers just don't pay for it. And that's why they end up winning the bid because they're bidding with money that they don't have or money they don't plan on spending in the first place. So besides that, so that was the one bundle for that price, I sold 20 other games. 16 of the games sold with promoted listing. I promoted every single game, including the bundle, at 1%. And a few people told me that they never promote games because they sell fast without it. I've experienced that they sell a lot faster with promoted listing. So four of them did not sell through promoted listing. They were still promoted, but somebody just was searching for that game. So those four I'll go ahead and mention was Sonic Heroes Greatest Hits for PlayStation 2, that sold for $19.99. Uh, Ratchet and Clank going Commando for PlayStation 2. That sold for $19.99. Another Ratchet and Clank, Size Matters. That's what she said. <laughs> that sold for $34.99. And Driver Parallel Lines for the PlayStation 2. So all four of them were PlayStation 2. That one sold for $29.99. So the total non-promoted items sold for $104.96. Uh, so those might be games where you may find yourself not wanting to promote. Maybe they don't need it. People are just searching for it more. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about any games that sold for $25 or more. 
Um, just because there's so many games, and I'm not going to go into details about all of them, but if you want to see all of the games, again, you can go ahead and click on this video and watch that one to see what games I picked up. So, Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare for the PlayStation 3. I bundled these two together because on their own they were worth about 15 or less. So together I sold them for $24.99. Bully for the PlayStation 2 sold for $24.99. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog for PlayStation 2 sold for $24.99. And Mortal Kombat Armageddon PlayStation 2 sold for $24.99. Then, besides that, I had a Ratchet & Clank Future Tools of Destruction. That's over $22.50, but I do want to mention it because the Ratchet & Clank games appear to sell extremely fast and be in high demand, pretty much any version. I'm sure there are some versions better than others. Um, but then also Def Jam, Fight for New York for PlayStation 2. This was the big bolo winner of the whole lot that sold for $220.00 first game I listed and it sold within just a couple days so that 220 pretty much made me my money back um, so I was already stoked at that point so total total gross for everything that I've sold so far was seven hundred ninety dollars and eighty three cents that's before any fees promoted listing fees shipping fees anything like that now if we subtract the one percent promoted fees from the 16 items that sold promoted plus the standard average 10% eBay fee. Now, it's weird because some of my eBay fees on these games were 6.77%, some were 11.72%, some were 9.96%. The fee structure is completely weird, and I don't think I will ever truly understand eBay's fee structure. Maybe one year that will be a goal of mine. Uh, but I went ahead and just averaged it out at 10% because it does seem to be about the average overall what the fee was charged from eBay. Now, you also have to include the, well, for me, I have to include it. Everybody's fees could be a little different depending on your store status, whatever. But there's also a 30 cent final value fee charged per item. So subtracting all of that, I also subtracted shipping costs because that is a huge cost. Uh, well, not mean huge, but it's a big deal. So $3.75 is my average shipping price that I went ahead and calculated times 19 of the items, which were the single games, because it did cost me anywhere from like $3.50 to maybe $4. So $3.75 is a good average to just charge. So $3.75 times 19, all of the crazy calculated numbers that I'm not going to put right here and you're not going to remember. So literally subtracting all of those fees leaves me with a net total of $634.47. So very great net. Now if we subtract my initial investment, my cost of goods, $200, that leaves me with $434. So I'm very happy with $434 because keep in mind I do still have the other bundle with the 20 games plus the single game, which realistically I should get about $130 for the bundle and about $30 for the game. So that's another $160. You add that in, I'm well in the profit of $600. So spending $200 to leave with an extra $600 in my pocket, that is the idea. <laughs> that is the goal. I would do that any day of the week. So just wanted to go ahead and give this kind of update to you all, let you know what you can find at yard sales, garage sales. So that is all. I just wanted to go ahead and share the breakdown for you all, see how everything went. Video games do sell. They tend to be very fast sellers, very consistent, stable sellers. Some a little less, some a little more. Every now and then you get a lucky gem like I did. So thank you all for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Any tips you can give me because I'm not a professional with video games by any means. So I definitely appreciate it. If you list and sell primarily video games or have a lot of luck with video games, let me know what tips you have if you think I did something wrong or whatnot. I will definitely appreciate any feedback. And besides that, I will see you all next time. Bye!